So you want to be funny. You want to be this funny? Allergic reactions are supposed to be your body's attempt at protecting you from harmful substances. <laughs> now, is it just me? Are they horrible at their jobs? <laughs> because you eat something bad, your body's like, yo, you just ate shellfish, but don't worry, I'm gonna protect you from dying. You're like, great, how? By dying. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's me, that's, that's me right there. <laughs> So the truth is, I'll say this, not everybody has a sense of humor, all right? I feel like everyone's born with certain amounts of like senses of humor or whatever, but just like with any skill where some people are born better at some things than others, you can improve upon. So I'll say this, if you wanna be funnier in life, amongst your friends, people you meet, all that sort of thing, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna develop your sense of humor. So this is what helps me a lot, but surround yourself with funny things, okay? Like my social media, my, my Instagram, my Facebook, whatever social media I'm using, I'm following all these funny pages. So like when I scroll through, I'm seeing like memes or funny sketches by people or I have a lot of funny friends so they'll post stuff. So I'm just constantly seeing things that are funny. I'd be laughing all the time. Also to hang out with funny friends and funny people. The more funny people you're around, man, they'll be bouncing jokes <laughs> All of, like when I hang out with my friends, yo, they be throwing jokes and roasting each other all the time. It's just hilarious and you pick up little things. And what I'm trying to articulate is that you just need to surround yourself with funny. Just be around it. Like everywhere you look, everything's funny because what that's gonna do, it's gonna help you. It's gonna, it's gonna tune your, tune your ear to be able to, to notice funny things around you in life. Now, after you started doing this, start making jokes. So when you're hanging out with your friends, when you are in social settings, you're meeting strangers, whatever, start trying to make some jokes. Trial and error. I'm not gonna overcomplicate this. You know, surround yourself with funny people and just start trying to make jokes. Trial and error. It's just like when I started doing stand-up comedy. At first, I sucked at telling jokes on stage, but you keep going, you keep trying, you keep trying, eventually you get better. So it's just like in life. Develop your sense of humor, surround yourself with it, and start trying to throw jokes out in life with people around you, people you meet. And the good thing about surrounding, surrounding yourself with with funny things is that you start to get a better sense of your sense of humor. What certain things make you laugh? What are your favorite type of jokes? Like me personally, I love dumb and stupid jokes, but I also love dark humor. Those jokes that you feel like you shouldn't be laughing at, I'd be crying of laughter at, at all those type of jokes. That's my style of humor. Another big tip to be funnier in life, be relatable. People love when you make uh, comments and references things that are relatable to them because it's more personal to them. Like for example, I used to watch a show growing up called Dragon Ball Z. Some of you know what I'm talking about, some of you don't know what I'm talking about. I remember one time I got on stage and I saw the audience, the demographic, they were all roughly my age. So the first thing I said was, yo, have you guys watched Dragon Ball Z? The audience was like, yeah! I was like, yeah, because Piccolo was definitely a black dude. And yo, everyone just started laughing because that was like a thought that everyone who watched that show had within themselves. Like, yo, Piccolo, even though he's a giant green man, <laughs> he's definitely the black dude of the show. But what I'm saying is you could do the same thing in conversation. Talk about things that are relatable to those around you. And kind of branching off of that, there's other ways to be funny too. There's being self-deprecating. Someone who does this very well is Kevin Hart. He's a really short guy, really short guy. So he'll make fun of his height all the time. Like you, you see it on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Not just in stand-up, but like in interviews and stuff, or even like uh, like the Celebrity All-Star Game when he's done that. Like he'll clearly make jokes and make fun of the fact that he's smaller than everybody. And everyone thinks that's funny. So the underlying message of that is don't be afraid to laugh at yourself. Believe it or not, it doesn't make you look bad or worse than everybody. It actually shows you're confident and you embrace your insecurities and you can actually bring people closer to you because of that. Very confident thing to do. So yo, those are my biggest tips. I might make another video further expanding on this depending on what you what you think about this video. But try to keep it simple. Try not to overthink it. Number one, surround yourself with as much funny as possible. Number two, start trying to make as much jokes as possible. Repetition, repetition, repetition. And a couple key pointers. Be relatable, be as relatable as possible. And then another pointer, being self-deprecating. Don't be afraid to laugh at yourself. And boom, keep it there. Start there and work forward. There's a quote that I learned called forward motion begets forward motion. If you just keep moving forward, you'll start to gradually see improvements. It's like that snowball effect. You just don't quit. So that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click that like button. Leave your comments down below. If you want more videos like this, let me know. Probably gonna get back into uh, taking your suggestions for videos. So just leave them in the comments down below. Be like, hey, yo, Josh, could you make a video on this? And I will take that comment and I will shout you out and then I'll talk about it in the next video. So anyway, 
don't want to ramble too much, but thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram at this is Josh O. And that's it. <laughs> Yo, I held that note. Peace.